In the mathematical field of graph theory Kirchhoff's theorem or Kirchhoff's matrix tree theorem named after Gustav Kirchhoff is a theorem about the number of spanning trees in a graph, showing that this number can be computed in polynomial time as the determinant of a matrix derived from the graph. It is a generalization of Cayley's formula which provides the number of spanning trees in a complete graph. Kirchhoff's theorem relies on the notion of the Laplacian matrix of a graph that is equal to the difference between the graph's degree matrix and its adjacency matrix matrix with 1 s at places corresponding to entries where the vertices are adjacent and 0 s otherwise. For a given connected graph G with n labeled vertices, let λ1, λ2, λ n-1 be the non-zero eigenvalues of its Laplacian matrix. Then the number of spanning trees of G is equivalently the number of spanning trees is equal to any cofactor of the Laplacian matrix of G. An example using the matrix tree theorem. First, construct the Laplacian matrix Q for the example kite graph G. Next, construct a matrix Q asterisk by deleting any row and any column from Q. For example, deleting row 1 and column 1 yields finally, take the determinant of Q asterisk to obtain T, which is 8 for the kite graph is the cofactor of Q in this example, proof outline. First notice that the Laplacian has the property that the sum of its entries across any row and any column is zero. Thus we can transform any minor into any other minor by adding rows and columns, switching them, and multiplying a row or a column by minus 1. Thus the cofactors are the same up to sign, and it can be verified that, in fact, they have the same sign. We proceed to show that the determinant of the minor M11 counts the number of spanning trees. Let N be the number of vertices of the graph, and M the number of its edges. The incidence matrix is an N by M matrix, which may be defined as follows. Suppose that is the kth edge of the graph, and that I less than J. Then Eik equals 1, Ejk equals minus 1, and all other entries in column K are 0. For the preceding example, recall that the Laplacian L can be factored into the product of the incidence matrix and its transpose, i.e., L equals Et. Furthermore, let F be the matrix E with its first row deleted, so that FFT equals M11. Now the Cauchy Binet formula allows us to write where S ranges across subsets of M of size N minus 1, and FS denotes the by matrix whose columns are those of F with index in S. Then every S specifies N minus 1 edges of the original graph and it can be shown that those edges induce a spanning tree IFF the determinant of FS is plus 1 or minus 1, and that they do not induce a spanning tree IFF the determinant is 0. This completes the proof. Particular cases and generalizations. Cayley's formula Cayley's formula follows from Kirchhoff's theorem as a special case, since every vector with 1 in one place, minus 1 in another place, and zero elsewhere as an eigenvector of the Laplacian matrix of the complete graph, with the corresponding eigenvalue being n. These vectors together span a space of dimension n minus 1, so there are no other non-zero eigenvalues. Alternatively, note that as Cayley's formula counts the number of distinct labeled trees of a complete graph knots we need to compute any cofactor of the Laplacian matrix of knots. The Laplacian matrix in this case is any cofactor of the above matrix is Nn minus 2, which is Cayley's formula. Kirchhoff's theorem for multigraphs Kirchhoff's theorem holds for multigraphs as well. The matrix Q is modified as follows. The entry chi, J equals minus M, where M is the number of edges between I and J. When counting the degree of a vertex, all loops are excluded. Explicit enumeration of spanning trees Kirchhoff's theorem can be strengthened by altering the definition of the Laplacian matrix. Rather than merely counting edges emanating from each vertex or connecting a pair of vertices, 
Label each edge with an indeterminate and let the th entry of the modified Laplacian matrix be the sum over the indeterminants corresponding to edges between the ith and jth vertices when i does not equal j, and the negative sum over all indeterminants corresponding to edges emanating from the ith vertex when i equals j. The determinant above is then a homogeneous polynomial in the indeterminants corresponding to the edges of the graph. After collecting terms and performing all possible cancellations, each monomial in the resulting expression represents a spanning tree consisting of the edges corresponding to the indeterminants appearing in that monomial. In this way, one can obtain explicit enumeration of all the spanning trees of the graph simply by computing the determinant. Matroids The spanning trees of a graph form the basis of a graphic matroid. So Kirchhoff's theorem provides a formula to count the number of bases in a graphic matroid. The same method may also be used to count the number of bases in regular matroids, a generalization of the graphic matroids. Kirchhoff's theorem for directed multigraphs Kirchhoff's theorem can be modified to count the number of oriented spanning trees in directed multigraphs. The matrix Q is constructed as follows. The entry chi, j for distinct i and j equals minus m, where m is the number of edges from i to j. The entry chi, i equals the out degree of i minus the number of loops at i. The number of oriented spanning trees rooted at a vertex i is the determinant of the matrix gotten by removing the ith row and column of q.